Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a buddy hop macro for CSGO. Um, this video is going to be broken down into three sections. So first section, I'll just show you how to make the, or, or I should say import the actual macro. And then second section, uh, I'll talk about some of the, some of the things where it, it can be useful because like obviously just bunny hopping around is not really useful in like competitive play. So, uh, I'll talk about some of like some of the things you can do using that macro that could actually give you an advantage uh and then um third part we'll talk about the biggest question that everyone asks when i do macro videos is is it bannable and like my opinion on it so let's get started um so i'm gonna open up synapse 3.0 make sure you have 3.0 i mean some people are still using 2.0 but if you are you should upgrade it this is a, a lot better um so i'm gonna go ahead and go to uh macros right here and um so this is let me just find it really quick so this is the macro right here um you can if you want make it it's essentially um just a bunch of spaces just make sure the first space is at zero delay or i can just make it easier for you what i'm gonna do is like export it uh to my desktop um and then um this file this file that we have right here i will put it put a link to it in the description so you can download it um okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, click the link in the description it's just the google drive link um open it it should take you to this page uh hit download hit the download button right here um and it should go in your downloads folder you can take it to your desktop or you know keep it here but you're just gonna have to import it you're just gonna have to remember this path uh wherever you downloaded it mm. so let's just say you have it on your desktop or somewhere so what you're gonna do is go here um and um find that file so it's right here open it it should open it so since i had a file already named that it just made it as one so you should see it here csgo experimental you can rename it to be hopped uh so once you have this macro right here you're gonna go ahead go to your mouse um select the button i usually well if you want it on your mouse but i usually like it on my mouse so it's right here this mouse for button i'm gonna click that i already have it selected but you're gonna go here go to macro assign macro click the dot drop down and then pick whichever one you want we have the csgo experimental and this this is very uh important so this option right here needs to be um play while assigned keys pressed because you want to hold the button as you do the jumps uh so that's that yeah this is very important so make sure you select that and then hit save um once you hit save you should be good to go for the macro so when you start using the macro you'll notice that it's not going to work 100 percent of the times so that's simply because csgo has taken steps to block that because they they don't want everyone just jumping around infinitely in um competitive play but it works most of the time and you're you have a good chance of landing three four bunny hops before the csgo block blocks it blocks your speed slows you down um and talking about some of the uses of it um this little window jump in mirage is pretty useful it's pretty satisfying to hit as well um all you have to do is just hold the b hop button and just aim it position it position yourself right uh, another um useful thing you can do with this macro is when peeking a corner you don't really want to peek slow so what you can do is you can go back the jump across use the b hop jump and then shoot someone that will definitely catch him off guard and you can get the kill easily other than that uh the big question is can you get banned using it so um my opinion is my personal experience no i've used this for i have 2000 hours in csgo and i've used it the whole time um haven't gotten banned i have played esea i've played face it face it says that macros that give you an advantage over another player are bannable and they give an example of um a recoil control macro which is something completely different obviously that gives you advantage over the other player but something like this which all it's doing is just spamming space for you just to make your your life a little easier um not so a lot of people can do this using their mouse wheel but um if if you're instead of a mouse wheel you're just you holding a button to do that i don't think that gives you a big advantage over another player you know if if they cared about this small of an advantage uh you know they would also make separate lobbies for 60 hertz 144 and 240 hertz 
because obviously if if one person is playing on 60 hertz another person is playing on 240 hertz he has a lot more advantage over you uh so you know if they really cared about these minimal advantages they would make 60 fps lobbies and 240 fps lobbies um but yeah this is very minimal i you shouldn't get banned for it i haven't got banned for it um but you know don't take my word for it if you use it use it at your own risk um yeah that's about it so thank you for watching Where are you?